Hi everyone, Alien Theory here, and today I wanted to share something that I feel is pretty incredible. Recently, David Fincher shared some words on his first directorial effort, Alien 3, and they were actually somewhat positive. This definitely comes as a surprise to anyone who's familiar with the production of Alien 3. It was notoriously troubled, and Fincher suffered an extremely difficult time throughout. The studio was constantly interfering, making changes, fighting Fincher on pretty much everything to the point he feels he was basically fired from the film. If he hasn't outright disowned it, then he at least has done a very tactful job in distancing himself from it. He's never done any retrospective interviews for documentaries on the film or the Alien series as a whole, and was noticeably absent from the incredible series of documentaries which came along with the 2003 Alien Quadrilogy DVD collection, in which every other Alien director participated. The much-lauded assembly cut version of Alien 3, which restored nearly half an hour of originally deleted scenes, and is thought by many to be vastly superior to the 1992 theatrical cut, was released without any of Fincher's involvement whatsoever. Whenever the film may have come up in an interview over the years, he wouldn't have much to say and would usually dodge the topic entirely. Well, for this month's issue of Empire Magazine, they've put together a David Fincher special, promising access to all areas with the master of suspense. You can see images from plenty of his films on the cover, including Fight Club, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Zodiac, Gone Girl, Seven, and his upcoming film, The Killer. Noticeably, no inclusion of Alien 3. The featured article by Nev Pierce goes into great detail about the making of the killer and discusses his past films in the process, also leaving Alien 3 absent. But it's the other featured article, also by Pierce, where Fincher seems to have to break his silence. In iconic shots, Fincher talks Empire through some of the most iconic movie moments from his incredible career. The article begins by stressing, iconic is the word of Empire magazine, not Fincher, who cheerfully takes issue with the whole notion of this feature. My problem with the word iconic is that it's overly attributed. People have replaced the word memorable with iconic. This is surely a very Fincher stance to take, but whether we consider it memorable or iconic, the basic idea was to bring up key moments from all of his films and have him speak on them. How they were achieved and how they impact the film. Scenes such as the discovery of the sloth victim from Seven, Ben Affleck posing in front of the missing poster in Gone Girl, the tense picnic scene from Zodiac, and the Alien Sense Ripley scene from Alien 3. Now this, I would actually have to make the case for being iconic. Maybe only aside from the original 1979 image of the Alien Egg, this is undoubtedly the most associated image with the Alien series. You don't even have to have seen any of the movies to know that this image is representative of the Alien series. It says everything you need to know. The heroine, the beast, the struggle with and fear of the terrifying alien creature that has plagued Ripley over the course of four movies. You know instantly what this is. You knew back in 1992, and you know now, over 30 years later. So Empire got Fincher to talk about it a little bit. Here's what he had to say. The one shot Fox was happy to put in the trailer. The alien's filing cabinet drawer opening on Sigourney Weaver's face. I always knew we wanted to do it, and it never looked the way I wanted it to. I wanted to light all behind her. It should have been two shapes in silhouette. We should have had more coverage of it, and we didn't. Mostly because we were spending all our fucking time trying to shoot plates for the rod puppet side of the thing. I think we had an hour and a half to get that. But it's powerful, because it's a powerful idea. Unsurprisingly, this is the least he had to say of any of the movies mentioned in this article. And of course, you still sense a lot of grief and frustration in his comments, even when he does acknowledge its power. But it's truly incredible that he even had all this to say, because he just doesn't talk about the movie. He probably could have avoided it entirely, and it could have been left out of the article, but he's able to give it some focus here. If they left it out, I don't think anyone would have even questioned it, and many probably wouldn't even noticed, and those that did would at least understand why. Maybe Empire twisted his arm a little bit. I don't know. But these are some words on Alien 3 from David Fincher in 2023. Do you think maybe he's softening on his stance just a little bit? Could he be open to talking about it some more? There are lots of people who absolutely love the movie and recognize the talent and artistry that Fincher brought to it. It's the first step into a great director's illustrious and fascinating career. He may not exactly be proud of it or feel fondly about his experience, but his fans certainly see the value in it. 
maybe he's slowly warming to this fact. Maybe he'll be willing to talk about it more moving forward. And maybe, just maybe, he'll revisit the film in some way. As I understand, Fincher is very, very hands-on when it comes to the new high-definition transfers of his films. Last I heard, he's been working painstakingly on a 4K print of his 1995 Alien 3 follow-up, Seven. With a 4K version of Ridley Scott's Alien already available, and one of James Cameron's Aliens seemingly on the horizon, I think Alien 3 should be next. I'm sure eventually it will be, with or without Fincher, but it would be fantastic to have him involved. Do you think Fincher's recent words on Alien 3 are a sign of more to come, or just a fluke for the overall sake of the article? Comment below and share your thoughts. And as always, thank you very much for watching today. I'll see you again soon with more videos, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for further Alien-related news and explorations of the expanded universe. And until next time, this is Alien Theory, signing off.